Bentornati. Welcome back, my friends. Welcome back to the Cataclysm. We are here with Tim Knudsen, our absolute hero. If you have been following the latest episode, you have seen Tim absolutely destroy the zombie population around the town of Burnham. Now, we had done something like this before around Kennebunk and Hammond, but these two extremely small towns, I don't even know how to call them. Are these like villages? Because these are really just a crossroad with four houses. Uh, Burnham is a little bit, you know, bigger. It's not like anything like a city or a proper, you know, town with a the residential area and a downtown or a shopping district and something like that. Um, but still, it was at least, uh, I don't know, 25, 30 zombies uh, of various kinds and there was like a pack of zombie dogs and at the end also a a very big zombie dog that ended up being a little bit anticlimactic anyway. Uh, oops, spoilers if you uh, didn't see late, the latest episode. But, I mean, it was absolutely no problem. This sharpened epe that we are sporting right now. Let me open the inventory. This thing here. Apart from taking a little bit of damage, which kind of worries me because we don't have metal working up, so if it gets destroyed right now, it will get destroyed. But still, it's incredibly effective. Um, I'm totally surprised. I didn't know it would be this effective. I'm also uh, really, really uh, happy about our armor setup because none of those zombies was able to land a single blow on us. And because this weapon has the uh, rapid strike ability, um, basically we were just getting in the face of all the enemies and just stab, 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 like rapid firing with this fencing weapon. And while the damage seems a little bit underwhelming, if you look at the stats in here, it actually performs really well because it has a really high chance to land a critical hit. In fact, it says in here, um, this is a section that I didn't pay uh, the right amount of attention, uh, but it, it's pretty clear. Critical hit chance between 9 and 28%. That is amazing at, and it was already proven, uh, uh, proven in the latest uh, episode. And by the way, this uh, 10 on a critical hit it's not actually true because this this damage then scales up with your ability and um, I don't want to get too much into the details I'm, I'm already talking too much in here uh, but basically the different kind of damage in uh, um, Cataclysm behave differently and uh, piercing damage is really good it has high chance of bypassing armor and it has a high chance of scaling with your uh, skill rather than your, than your strength. And our skill in piercing is right now two and a half, basically, going towards the third level. So I'm definitely seeing this character uh, keeping on with piercing and maybe fencing weapons. This could very well be a a build for this character, just sticking to a uh, fencing weapon, and I know that it is possible, I don't know how easy it will be to find it, but there is a there's a book that teaches fencing, so we will get also like the proper uh, stance and proper bonuses for using a fencing weapon, which would be absolutely amazing. Now though, there's a downside to all of this, because if I open up the um, message log, we will see that the zombie that we uh, killed the last in all this, this town, in all this rampage, uh, was a bloated zombie, 
Now, I knew it was gonna be hair, hairy, but basically what, what happened is that we pierced it for 20 damage and in, in response, the blooded zombie just exploded in a cloud of toxic gas and we are now suffering from the effect the effects of that uh, toxic gas cloud basically we are poisoned now for some reason this only affects uh, our head so we have pain in our head we are also badly poisoned meaning that from time to time we might suffer from mm, some damage I don't think this would be a major cause of concern I will um, if I no I don't have any with me I don't have anything to consume let's get items we would have to go back to the base to take some pain medication but we are in minimal pain for now I'll tell you what my plan for this episode was to actually make a montage of me going around uh, all the houses in Burnham some of those we are we have already visited uh, some of them are still like closed untouched but i don't want you to look like in details of me going through every room of every house so just a montage uh, because i want to make sure that we are not skipping on anything good that might be there there could be a, a basement with a lot of very good stuff um and but if i notice that the pain goes up and the damage goes up then i will very quickly take the bicycle again um, and run back to the to the base uh, Also, I don't want to loot like absolutely everything like the food There's no point in bringing tons of food from the houses of Burnham Which by the way is like a 10 minute walk from the evac shelter um, and bringing them down so Basically, I'll, I, I'm, I'm not even gonna take the, the vehicle unless I find something very good, but, but also very heavy uh, that will uh, warrant me, you know, going to take this this uh, the vehicle to to load it up. So let me do just that, and if there is uh, any update on Tim's condition, I will let you know right away. Oh wait a second, what's this? There's a struggler. Pull the handbrake on the <laughs> bicycle, <laughs> which is, I mean, no, 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 no. I wanna, I wanna stop. I turned on the electronics control unit. No, turned off the these dome lights on. Who puts dome lights on a bicycle? Anyway, there's a there's a friend here that that didn't benefit from our attention. Uh, last time so oh 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 wait wait a, wait a second um I'm badly I'm badly um, poisoned um, so let's wait a second okay change change of plan accelerate Let's go back to the base and actually uh, wait until the poison situation stabilizes because I was counting on the town being absolutely empty. Uh, this guy here must have been stuck inside that very last uh, house in the upper corner um, and is now uh, chasing us, but hopefully on our bike we will be able to keep it at a, at a distance. So. Uh, meet you back at the base. Alright, we are at the base. Um, I realized I hadn't moved uh, some little bits of uh, loot from the mobile math lab uh, into, into the base, so I did just that. Also because I, I wasn't finding like my, my medical supplies, but I managed to find again my uh, antiseptic, aspirin, and bandages, and I went ahead and taken one aspirin to try and treat the pain, and also, since we are taking a tiny little bit of damage to the head, uh, I went ahead and medicated. Now, I should have uh, looked at this 
first like uh, what how do I look at uh, medication or bandages or, or injuries or back in a sec anyway looking this up was taking me way too much time and it's not a big deal it's just that I remember it being like a specific window dialogue with information about bandages but you can see everything I'm talking about in here so I am both disinfected and bandaged my hand um, not because disinfecting or bandaging would help with poison but it actually speeds up recovery uh, regardless of the source of the of the damage and anyway I expect this to be gone soon because we were both poisoned and badly poisoned before uh, but now we are just badly poisoned so it's going away so let me just uh, spend a little bit more time in here uh, and just wait this poison out and it seems like the worst has uh, passed. Um, we spent a little bit of time reading Swim Planet and uh, learning just a little bit about uh, the theory of swimming. Like 3% of the theory of swimming. And uh, we are not, we're not poisoned anymore. Alright, I think that's all we need. And what do you want, raccoon? Hi. Oh, this is a pavement? No, this is this is a raccoon. Small small mammal. Um yeah, you're cute. Don't 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 do anything silly, alright? Alright, friend. Come this way, please. It's time for your treatment. Alright. That's all better. Now, will you please uh, allow me to drag you in here? Thank you very much. So that I can... Dismember you really quickly. You had cigars with you. Ah, let's take some cigars, why not? And I wanna get in the habit of also picking up uh, like smartphones and other uh, small um, electronic equ equipment uh, for the purpose of disassembling them. So, as I was saying before, I will be looting in here and be back with you uh, if anything particularly interesting comes up. So it seems like this uh, house was still pretty much occupied. So let's wield again our fencing weapon. And wait for them outside. This way. Why bash in on the door when you can just walk through the window and injure yourself on the glass? Right? That's way better. For me at least. Now, is there anybody else? Come on. This door is locked, this is not. I see no more noise indicators, so now we're good. Back to looting. Look at that! Modern Rifleman, a really good book to learn about rifles. And a UPS.
first house looted not much in there apart from that uh, UPS which is kind of useful and a tourist stable that <laughs> fell on the ground because it's too big to be carried by the uh, by the bicycle so we will definitely have to come back with our vehicle uh, next let's get in this house right here Royal Jelly. Royal Jelly is a really, really nice find. Uh, it's kind of rare and it's a product of uh, beehives that anyway in this game are only giant beehives um, and it's basically your get out of jail free card <laughs> in a sense. And second house done not in not in too great not in extremely interesting here let's peek into the basement a rat basement Absolutely nothing. Good practice, though. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! There was a safe behind the wardrobe, and not Narnia after all. Attempt to hack this safe. It says hack, so it must be a computerized electronic safe, so I will not attempt to hack, because my computer skill is pretty much abysmal. Uh, let's see, where, 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 it, where it is? Where does it say computer? Computers is 0%. Here it is, 0%. So we probably have zero chance of hacking that thing. So let's not try it. But we will we will make a note. Um, let's do the dollar symbol and then uh, G for green electronic safe need hacking there you go and it might have good things inside might have absolutely nothing inside we will never know until we open it anyway this house also has been looted there's a riot helmet in here riot helmet is good because it protects also the eyes and the mouth. Now the protection values seem kind of low, but this is reduced by damage. So if we if we manage to repair this, maybe this can get up to I don't know, like eight or ten. Let's take it. All right, the bike is already full, so. In the end, I think I will have to come back in here with the mobile math lab, so let me do just that in a second. Hi Raccoon, how have you been doing? You been a good boy? Nice. So I should have a duffel bag in here somewhere, yes. And I want to use that. This should make things easier.
back where we left the foldable tourist table. Now the tourist table is useful because you can use it as a as a crafting bench. Now these three houses I've looked in, then there's a private park, the military surplus store that we already scavenged, so I think we will now go towards this street in here. Fails to start, let's try again. Fails again. Alright. Are you taking damage? Uh, seems stable. Let's roll. Oh, that's a that's a spider nest, right there. I didn't notice it before. Can we squeeze in there? Oh 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 oh! Stop. Can we? No, I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. Let's just use the road like normal people. Like normal people that spend entire days killing zombies. Normal people, you know? Alright, let's park in here. And resume the looting. Alright, nothing major in the first house. There's a snake! No, there was a snake. Another wetsuit. Actually, did we already find a wetsuit somewhere? Am I am I making Am I mistaken? Am I mixing up with some other run? Anyway, wetsuit means neoprene. Neoprene means crafting uh, good armor. So that's why it's good. And nothing too special in here either, apart from the wetsuit, I guess. A bunch of duct tape is always good. Trapper's life. We don't have this book. Let's take it. What's an L stick? Produced by the Light Corporation, this stylish staff not only functions as a light source but double as a lightweight weapon. Due to the super alloy materials it is made of, Bash 18 to hit bonus plus three rapid strike <laughs> what is this thing due to proprietary efficiency improvements over standard light sources the L stick or light stick as it is commonly called batteries last longer than other light sources so you put um, medium batteries in there which are a little bit rare but it has medium uh, medium batteries in, in there full but more than that I mean I, I don't need I don't need it as a light source but this is I think better than a baseball bat I would have to check that out but 18 is pretty top-notch 
with a plus three to hit bo bonus. Now, moves per attack are not great, because I guess it's a little bit heavy, but it has r rapid strike, so actually you don't, ca you don't get an attack every 140 moves, but one every 70 moves. That's very nice and it's the first time I see anything like that. Alright, in this house we found this fascinating light stick that I will drop on this seat because I wanna get a better look at it. Actually, actually we can compare it right away. Let's compare the baseball bat with the light stick. Alright, now, mm, the baseball bat is better in every, um, strictly speaking, uh, weapon statistic, but not by much, like it would be 19 damage instead of 18, and the 111 uh, moves per attack instead of 141, but the big thing is this rapid strike. Rapid strike is the same thing that is making our fencing weapon really really good, so I guess it's still very worthy as a weapon. Alright, next home in line. No, wait a sec. We we've just we've just been here. I just want to revisit this one real quick. Tactical handgun digest. Nice. A horror novel. Why not? Seems fitting. More duct tape. Always good. Long strings. More candles. More flashlights. And this is a very well stocked uh, how do you call this? A pantry? A, a house-sized warehouse? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? Uh, look at this. There's a mini spear gun. What's a mini spear gun? A small underwater fishing implement designed to fire a specialized type of spear using tension in a rubber band. While highly effective when used underwater, it is nearly useless on dry land. But it's interesting anyway, so I'll take it. There's some denatured, de, de, denatured, denatured alcohol. Take it. And there's a bunch of stuff in here. Lye powder, more soap, tents, a lot of canned food, yeast, Salt is really good. More detergent, more duct tape, more soap. A food dehydrator. Now this is major. This is really major. Food dehydrator, you stick batteries in it and most foods that you can scavenge or like the meat that you get from hunting, you stick it into the dehydrator and it automatically lasts for seasons. Just, just like that. It's that easy when you have one of those. So, extremely good find. Another baseball bat, I don't think we need another baseball bat. Light powder, hard leg guards, would you look at this? Neoprene and plastic, strapped to the legs, bash 8, cut 6. 
let's take them and for sure we will take a look um, at them later to see if we can like integrate that into our current outfit wooden broadhead arrows 10 broadhead arrows so if we at some point want to uh, start getting into archery we have arrows uh, a concrete mixer will we ever need a portable concrete mixer I don't think so right I don't think we want to get into building with concrete heavy duty flashlight a professional plunger that we will never need you know what I will make a note note with um, I don't know what kind of symbol can we use to indicate this like a question mark or I guess it's like it's important but it's not that important so I won't make it a dollar sign I don't want to make it the, the at sign because that's for NPC let's make a hashtag hashtag and green and I of course will later discover that the hashtag stands for something else oh yeah of course hashtag is for unexplored but you know we'll make it green so it's uh, it stands out um, concrete mixer right you know what I mean probably useless <laughs> but what what what's that a bruised corpse of a catalog oh now I would imagine Tim getting scared uh, just as I was a second ago because you know corporate corpses like move in around these parts but this after like looking at it for that split second Tim realizes um, it's not reanimated this is actually a dog that died in here uh, maybe observation no it's bruised so maybe he died like defending his uh, his owner so that is sad and there is another basement let's take a look um no I don't want to fire start a fire I want to turn on the headlamp All right, this home here was really interesting. So this is the one that has the very, very big pantry with a concrete mixer. Oh, and there's dance, dance, dance. Just, you know, fresh in the, in the mailbox. We will be taking a look at that. Of the food dehydrator. That was the good find. So, all the houses in here are done and we are sure that they've been explored fully. We are ready to move the vehicle a little bit. We really, really need to grab a, a wrench and start working on, on, on this vehicle. It, it pains me that the engine is uh, in need of re repairs and the vehicle is so good anyway let's stop in here now I want to take a l very brief detour on this side I'm I think there's really nothing else to to loot in here but I will take a look just to make sure
an atomic coffee maker. This is a Curie G coffee maker by Capatec. It famously uses a radioactive generator to heat water for coffee. Normally the water is heated using energy stored in a capacitor and makes ordinary coffee. However, as a special feature, water from the RTG containment area can be used, giving the coffee a very special kick. The Curie G is illegal in most countries. I wonder why. <laughs> so, is this like... This doesn't need batteries, right? <laughs> so, we just got a coffee uh, machine that doesn't need batteries because it's, uh, well, it's nuclear powered. A stock pot. A large pot for making soup stock. You could fit a whole turkey in there with a bit of shoving. This is interesting. Two boiling, three food cooking. I wonder if, like normal pots, um, do the same. This can store 12 liters. I'm gonna take this. There's a survivor note in here. It says, This is all just a dream, right? I'm going to wake up. She's going to be okay. Man, that's heavy. Some of the writing in this game is actually really good. What is this? Another safe. Now, what kind of safe is that? Let's move this thing. Let's grab the utility shelf. Drag it around. But this is a dial safe. So let's make a, a note about this. New note, dollar sign for the safe, in green, dial, safe. Okay. Gummy vitamins. Those are really nice. Actually, let's have some vitamins right now. I, I don't think we found vitamins anywhere else. And also, looks like, do you remember we all always had that effect, like, the, the, the food that you eat is gross. That seemed, seemed to have gone away, finally. What is this? A magic 8 ball. Very nice, but this? This is a document Hey guys! It's me, the Listless Onion from the future. While editing this, I realized that for some reason I just kept going and going and going while recording this episode. So, even if I sped up at least half of the footage, it's still too long. I thought I would have been able to make a single smooth montage and magically reduce everything into a 30 minutes episode or so, which is what I normally shoot for but I still have uh, like just shy of two hours of recording to work on. I believe the best solution will be cutting this here, because I really don't want to edit away any more of the pretty neat little discoveries that occurred in this episode, like the royal jelly, the L stick, the atomic coffee maker, and that huge pantry with a, a spear gun next to the concrete mixer. And in the end, I really hope this was interesting to you as it was to me, discovering all those uh, little pieces of, of loot that you you never imagine they will be there, so it's it's always the, 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 the fun part about this game really. 
Now, since you made it this far, I'm going to give you a small teaser for the next episode. Tim is going to hit the road again, and there'll be exploration, combat, and miniature railways. Wait, what? Well, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and that I'll see you again in the next episode. Alla prossima!